Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-47 from RC Gitala and Jimmy Static Square Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of Fa and its direction theta so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x-axis and has a magnitude of 1250 newtons. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to resolve force F A and F B into their components. So we have one vertical component and one horizontal component for the force F A. Similarly, we have one vertical component and one horizontal component for F B. Let's label them. Let's call this F A sine theta and that component right here is F A cos theta. Similarly, this vertical component is F B sine 30 degrees and this horizontal component is F B cos 30 degrees. Similarly, we have a resultant force which is directed along the positive x axis that would look something like this. This is our resultant force. Let's call this FR. And it is directed only in the positive x axis. So now we could apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have first equation, which is sum of the forces. In y direction is equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Fa cos theta minus Fb sine 30 degrees is equals to 0. We know Fb is equals to 800 newtons. So Fa cos theta is equals to Fb sin 30 degrees so Fa cos theta is equals to 800 sin 30 degrees Fa cos theta is equals to 400 let's call this equation 1 Similarly, we have another equation which is sum of the forces in x direction is equals to this resultant force which is directed along the positive x axis and has a magnitude of 1250 newtons. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have F A sin theta plus Fb cos 30 degrees is equals to 1250. So Fa sin theta plus 800 cos 30 degrees is equals to 1250. So from here we have F A sin theta plus this becomes 692.82 is equal to 1250. So F A sin theta is equal to 557.18. So let's call this equation 2. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. 
So now we could easily manipulate them and solve for A and the angle theta. Let us divide equation 2 by equation 1. So we have Fa sine theta over Fa cos theta is equal to 557.18 divided by 400. So from here, here we have tan theta is equal to 1.393 and theta is equal to 54.32 degrees. This is our first answer. So now put theta is equal to 54.32 degrees in either equation 1 or 2. So let's consider equation 1. So we have F A cos 54.82 degrees is equals to 400 F A is equals to 685.8 9 newtons. This is our second answer. And this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any confusion about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.